the money governments around the world have already spent trying to combat it. So far, it adds up to a staggering $6.5 trillion. In a class action launched in the United States, China is now being sued to get the money back. 澳洲第九频道新闻网六十分钟节目报道：一群中共肺炎受害人提出集体诉讼，指控中共当局疏忽并刻意掩盖中共肺炎疫情。参与诉讼的人数已经达到一万人，并持续增加。其中一人表示，包括他自己在内，一共有十位亲人确诊，甚至有两位亲人因而死亡，其中包括他的父亲。Because she's angry, so she feels like okay, they should have told people about this. They should have been more forthcoming about this. Why is this happening? I lost my husband. I lost my sister. For you, what do you want to achieve out of this lawsuit? The truth. In regards to the big questions, from what you've seen so far out of China, did they lie? Yes. Did they cover up? Yes. 英国智库亨利杰克逊学会亚洲研究中心主任韩德森指出，中共在疫情一开始就在掩盖。中国共产党在面对灾难和挑战时，通常都采取这类措施掩盖真相。It becomes clear that the way in which the Chinese side has managed this issue is negligent, culpable, and deliberately, willfully damaging, not only to the world at large but to the Chinese people also. 澳洲联邦参议员史托克指出，世界各国可以以类似纽伦堡大审判的方式，让中共当局接受审判。But the nations of the world have the power to establish,、um, through the International Court of Justice, an inquiry of that nature,、um, something a little bit like the way there was an independent. Um, examination in the form of the Nuremberg Trials. 报道指出，目前球场的金额已经达到六兆美元，约台币一百八十兆元。新唐人亚太电视张启林综合报道。